Bobby, get the washing. Hey guys, welcome back. I know you're wondering, wait a minute, I've seen that makeup look before, I've seen this outfit before. Que pasa? Well, I don't want my get ready with me to be the longest video on the face of the planet because I started doing an eyelash tutorial midway through. So I took that chunk out and made it its own video. It's not going to be a long video, or it might be a long video actually, because I suck at putting on eyelashes. So I figured from one sucky person to another who may need help in this department, I just want to show you a user friendly way to put them on and just watch me do it and then hopefully that helps you um, I've watched plenty of these tutorials myself and I just feel like a lot of them are just not user friendly or dumbed down enough so I hope this one is very helpful for you guys so using these ever easy lashes by kiss are totally in my mind mandatory because they are so lightweight and easy and um, mando Manipula something with an M that means you can move it a lot um, and I love this uh, Broadway eyelash glue it dries very quickly and awesome it does dry clear white but you can just put some eyeliner on that you'll live but I really like it these two things are very user friendly and then any pair of tweezers will work just fine I actually found it easy to actually apply it with my eye my hands which you'll see in the video so just a quick summation just using your hand you can place it on your eyelid and then use the tweezers to actually manipulate it into place also another tip I strongly recommend I don't think I said in the video is it's kind of it makes sense but a lot of people just may not do this I know I didn't know to do this if you're messing with this part of your eye you tend to go like this because you want to see better but it actually works out better if you go like this so that the tweezer doesn't make you blink. Like if you're like me, you blink over anything. I learned that doing this makes me blink, thus making a hot mess with my eyelashes. So I actually turn more like this, so I can still see what I'm doing, but my eyeball is over here, like the iris and all that's over here, and it doesn't feel like anything's on it. Same thing when I do the inner corner, I go this way. Helps with the placement so that the eyeball doesn't feel like something is going like that and it wants to blink. I mean, mine's just blinked on its own. I try so hard, don't blink, and it does anyway. And I just found that once I started doing that, like looking away from the tweezer, wherever the tweezer was, looking away from it, I had more control and easier precision with my, um, what are these things called? Eyelashes. So, yeah. So, anyways, just continue to watch these ever easy ones in the style number three they're natural i'm obsessed with this broadway glue that glue that i talked about in my favorites video and then i just need me a pair of tweezers um for the application process i actually put them on with my fingers which i think it's amazing that i could even do that but i still do need the tweezers to you know do those final adjustments and i always get really up close to my magnifying mirror that i have here because that's the only way and yeah, so let's do it. This is for my right eye. Just measuring it, making sure. Do I need to cut it or anything? Usually with these ever easy ones, I don't, which I love that for rows. So I don't. So boom. Let's do it. I put a pretty aggressive amount on my hand like that. But it's cool because guess what? It's glue. It's going to go bad anyway. And not a long time period. So, And it was only $2. So if I have to rebuy it, I will. And then I'm just going to take the lash. Take the glue. And then just run it through. And mind you, I am not a pro. At all. At doing this. I just do the best I can. And that's all I can, you know. That's all you can do. Is just really do the best you can. And just dry them a little bit. This glue does dry hella fast, so which I do love that also about it.
the other eye. And now the glue is pretty much hella tacky, so this one's going to be so much easier to do. Which works out for me because it is my left eye and I am not left handed, so it just works out so much better to get that glue nice and tacky. It, it works out just so much better to get the glue nice and tacky and waiting for your non-dominant side because then when you, um, you know, get that lash on your non-dominant side, it's less um, movement and whatnot you have to worry about because it's ready to go. It's gone so tacky that it's really ready to go on your eyelid very easily and that's just the best way for me. And I always just rest it on there at first, kind of let it attach itself a little bit. Sugar honey iced tea. This happens to every once in a while. The lash, the glue is gets like stuck on you and doesn't want you to put the lash on so there's like a sticky spot right there but it's okay let's just get it on quickly I just like to like press it in. Especially this inner corner. Okay, and then you want to take the tweezers and just this side right here, just like kind of keep pushing them up so as they dry, but lightly because you don't want to like whip the lash off, you know, just so that they dry going upward. I've even heard of people curling them, but I'm so scared that, that the glue may not withstand that, so I, I don't do that. I just take the tweezers and push up, up, like that, and there you go. And the white, I'm just gonna let it dry some more. And I'm gonna go over it with this. And I try to get anywhere where there's glue. And I've even seen online where people actually put black eyeliner on the lash band first before even applying the falsies. And this, they say that helps a lot. So you can always do that as well. I've never done that way, but, you know, I believe it. It, it makes sense. I just kind of forget it's not a habit, so I just don't do it. And I feel like the way I do it is perfectly fine. Just coating it, especially when you have, like, a pen like this or any liquid eyeliner, honestly. Makes it very easy. And since I am a beginner, I hardly do lashes without eyeliner because I just feel like eyeliner hides all the mistakes that your um, lashes could have. So here they are. 
and it's not perfect I don't expect it to be this is like what like the probably the fifth time I've applied lashes success successfully and they're not bothering me so thumbs up for that um but yeah this was my eyelash tutorial thank you guys for watching I'll see you in my next video take care bye